thing I love about Malik Beasley is that he's never lost confidence. Patrick Williams drills the three. He was out with the wrist injury. Thompson forced into a miss, but comes up with the basketball. Williams kicks into the corner. Brown Jr. as the shot clock was getting ready to expire. Williams looked like a double dribble to me. Looked like he might have got a hand on that one to reset the dribble for him. This is one of those games, Jim, where nobody really knows what to expect as both teams resting a significant number of players and a significant measure of players as well. But, yeah, the Timberwolves, they came into the game tonight leading the Memphis Grizzlies for total points scored on the season by 17. We saw the Clippers, Dave, three times when Paul George was playing his best basketball of the season. He, he and Reggie Jackson were, were a, a handful, and then... Clearly, it's, it, it speaks for itself. You win and you're in, but if you win, you play Memphis, a team that you've matched up with pretty well this year. Josh Okoge gets these minutes, so... And Malik Beasley also on Malik the bench. Malik Beasley's on the bench as well. I mean, it's it's not a bad move by Chris Finch. Williams drives inside. What a finish by Patrick Williams, and he draws the contact. He's got a chance for an and one. They'll get Monroe on the foul. And take another look. This was nifty out of Patrick Williams. Yeah, that's a nice hang time, and then switching hands like that. Yeah, that was nice. Great athlete. Florida State product. Another, another FSU product. Yep. See if the Timberwolves can get it down to 10 going into the fourth. Williams has other ideas, drills the triple. Just let them free roll and get baskets at the rim. They, they, they twist everybody up. Goals working around to Williams. He gets it away. The Timberwolves have officially yeah. locked up the highest scoring offense in the league for the season. They needed to get to 94, and they are at 95 and counting. I think for my money, pound for pound, inch for inch, Nate Knight gets up as high as anybody that I've seen with the Timberwolves for a long time. Williams gets a tough finish. Well, he actually broke the stanchion. I mean, like... Yeah, he, he had a couple of... He broke the stanchion, made the whole thing go down. <laughs> he, he tore the whole hydraulic down. Seat. And this team is too talented. Come on, Nate Knight. Wow, a lot of good defensive play by Jones Jr. Looked like he got a piece of Knight, but they don't call it. They just call the block and the puck at the, on the other end for Chicago. Knocked out of bounds. No, it's not. I thought it was going out of bounds. They get it ahead to Jones Jr., and that's going to wrap it up. Lehman, Knight, fires the three, and that's going to end it. So the Timberwolves will end the regular season at 46 and 37. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.